Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Chemistry Unplugged. Today we will discuss about tributyl tin hydride Bu3SNH. We use it in reactions with AIBN which is an initiator. We will discuss about it. We will also discuss today reactions, mechanism and chemoselectivity of tributyl tin hydride. So it is a very important topic. Tributyl tin hydride is also denoted by TBTH, tributyl tin hydride. And organotin hydrides are very good radical reducing agents. So we are going to discuss some synthetic applications of it. First is it replaces halogen atoms from alkyl halide. Suppose we have a molecule like this in which we have attached one methoxy group here and one bromine atom here. Now we are using tributyl tin hydride Bu3SNH. So what it will do this BSNH bond will break and this tributyl tin radical will abstract this bromine, bromine radical and hydrogen radical will attach in its place. So hydrogen radical will replace bromine radical. So why this has happened and why we are using tributyl tin hydride because SNH bond is much weaker than carbon hydrogen bond. And second reason is so this SNH bond will break and second thing is that the SNX bond is stronger than SNH bond. Therefore, Bu3 SNH bond will break and it will attach with this halide. So, the bond of tin with halide is stronger than bond with hydrogen. So, in this reaction, Bu3 SNX will removed. Next, we will discuss about its mechanism. First is the initiation step in which Bu3 SNH this SNH bond will break. This is a homolysis reaction means equal sharing of radical ion. So we have Bu3 SN radical and H radical. This is an initiation step. In next step, these radicals will participate in the chain propagation. And this process is a homolysis. Now these two ions will attack on the molecule we have used in the reaction. So, first step is tributyl tin radical will attack on bromine. So, we have this, this radical ion will attack on this bond and there is shifting of radical. One will attach with bromine and other will remain with carbon. So, it will be removed as Bu3SNBr and we have this radical ion. In the next step, we will use H radical which is generated from the homolysis of tributyl tin hydride and this H radical will attack on this carbon atom and we have the final product. Next is the homolysis of tributyl tin hydride is promoted by AIBN. So before going it we have to know that the reactivity of alkyl halides towards this reaction follows this order alkyl iodide then alkyl bromide alkyl chloride and least for the alkyl fluoride because the bond between carbon and iodine in alkyl iodide is much weaker and it can be easily broken and alkyl fluoride are least reactive or unreactive and the reaction with iodides and some bromides can be done in the daylight because of the weak nature of carbon halogen bond. But the reaction with some bromides, chlorides require high concentration of tributyl tin radical which is produced by addition of some initiator like AIBN. AIBN is most frequently used radical in this type of reaction. AIBN is ajo base isobutyronitrile and this is the structure of AIBN. So in the first step this reaction takes place at the temperature greater than 60 degrees centigrade. So in the first step this bond will Break. This is a homolysis reaction again. So the radical will shift here. One radical, another radical will shift here. So we have these two radical ions and 
one nitrogen molecule. And now this radical ion will initiate the reaction with tributyl tin hydride by abstracting hydrogen from it. So we have tributyl tin in the reaction medium. Now the reactivity of reaction also depends on the stability of substrate radical means the radical generated after the removal of halide should be stable. If it is stable then the chain propagation step will be fast. So it follows this order allyl then we have benzyl next is for 3 degree radical ion then 2 degree radical ion then 1 degree radical ion and list for vinyl or phenyl radical ion. Then the next application is formation of new carbon carbon bond. So here we have a example of it. We have a hydrocarbon chain in which we have one iodine atom here. We are going to react it with acrylonitrile and we will use tributyl tin and AIBN. So we will get this molecule as a final product. Iodine will be removed and this chain will attach here. So how this reaction will take place? So we will see its mechanism. Then in the first step we have this radical and now we are using tributyl tin. So it will undergo homolysis. This bond will break and this radical ion, triptyl radical ion will attack on alkyl halide, alkyl iodide in this case. So it will abstract iodine, iodide radical from it and this bond will shift here. So we have a alkyl radical here. This alkyl radical will attack on alkene in acrylonitrile. It will attack on this double bond. So this bond will shift the pi electron will shift here and in which we have one radical ion on this carbon atom so in the next step it will abstract hydrogen from tributyl tin hydride so we have this as a final product now the next important thing is that next important thing is that this tributyl tin radical which attacks on iodine it may also attack on alkene and the binding with alkene can be effective in presence of excess of alkene if we have excess of alkene in this reaction next the alkyl halide is unreactive like alkyl chloride in that case the tributyl till may also bind with alkene instead of alkyl halide. Next thing is that the alkyl radical which reacts with alkene it can also attack on hydrogen radical released from this. In this example this alkyl radical attacks on this alkene but it may directly attacks on hydrogen radical. So we have to avoid such situation by using some conditions like alkene should be in higher concentration tributyl tin should be low in concentration in this way H radical will be low so instead of tributyl tin we use tributyl tin chloride and NaBH4 so what will happen tributyl tin chloride will react with sodium borohydride so tributyl tin hydride will produce now it will attack it will participate in reaction and we have tributyl tin halide now it will again react with sodium borohydride and we have tributyl tin hydride again so in this way tributyl tin hydride is in limited concentration next is alkene attached with electron withdrawing group are good trap for alkyl radicals or the alkyl radicals attached with electron donating group so alkene should be attached with electron withdrawing group and the alkyl radical should be attached with electron donating group or vice versa the alkene should, can be attached with electron donating group and the alkyl radical is attached with electron withdrawing group. Next is intramolecular reaction. 
So in the intramolecular reaction, we have halide as well as alkene in the same molecule. We have this structure and we are treating it with TBTH and AIBN. So what will happen? This bond will attach with this. In this case, we have a SPH. So the TBTH break can also break carbon sulfur bond which is very strong but it can break it now we have five membered ring we can also have six membered ring so but the formation of five membered rings is preferred in such type of reaction in intramolecular reaction so the ring size should be minimum but it should not have three or four membered ring otherwise there will be strain the, the rings will be strained. So the five membered rings are preferentially formed in this type of reactions. So let's take an example in which we have a halide atom as well as alkene in same molecule. So in the first step, what will happen? This tributyl tin hydride will abstract this bromine at atom. So tributyl tin hydride will undergo homolysis and we have this radical alkene alkene radical in next step this radical ion can attack on this carbon atom or it may also attack on this carbon atom but when it attack on this carbon atom we have a five membered ring so the formation of five membered ring like this the formation of five membered ring and we have six membered ring so the formation of five membered ring is preferred in such type of reaction and it is the major product in this reaction in next example we have a double bond and SEPH bond so TBTH can also break carbon selenium bond easily it can easily break carbon sulfur carbon selenium and carbon chloride bond although these bonds are strong but can but it can easily break it so in the product what we have we have this radical ion it uh, tributyl tin hydride will abstract it and we have this radical ion in next step this radical ion can attack on this carbon atom as well as on this carbon atom but attack on this carbon atom favors formation of five membered ring and this will favor six membered ring so this product is formation is favored next is the concentration of tributyl tin hydride is a very important key factor in such type of reactions for example we have a alkene which is attached with a bromine atom here and we are using tributyl tin hydride low concentration so if the concentration is low then in the first step we have a radical ion which is formed by the abstraction of bromine in next this radical ion will attack on this carbon atom because we have low concentration of tbth so there is minimum amount of h radical so we have a five membered ring here but if the concentration is high then this radical generated will abstract hydrogen from tributyl tin hydride and we have this alkene as a final product so the ring will not form in such type of situation there is no intramolecular reaction so the concentration should be low next important reaction is reaction with selenides and thiocarbonyl derivatives first we will take selenides so as i have said earlier that carbon selenium bond can also be broken by tbth so in the first step this bond will break it will undergo homolysis and it will attack on this selenium ion and this radical selenium radical and we have one radical here so now this hydrogen uh, radical will attack on this carbon atom so we have here we have a methyl group so in the product this group will be removed and we have a methyl group here next is the reaction with thiocarbonyl derivatives so we will take an example of thiocarbonyl derivative this is a thiocarbonyl molecule and 
what will happen in the first step we again have tributyl tin hydride and it will undergo homolysis so so this bond will shift here this radical will shift here and one radical from this pi bond will shift here so we have a double bond here and oxygen is carrying a radical ion so now this tributyl tin radical will attack on this oxygen radical and here we have a r attached with ch2 radical so this tributyl tin radical will attach with oxygen and this hydrogen radical which is generated by homolysis of it it will attack on carbon so in the first step it will attain oxygen and we have r radical rch2 radical which is which is attached by h radical and we have this molecule as a byproduct and r ch3 group or r me group so that's it i will end my today's video here thank you so much for watching my videos and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for future notification keep watching my channel thank you